Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I just got a shipment from Toreba. Uh, my cat's getting the box. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've got the new two Vibration Stars figures. Uh, I got so. Yes, Gara. We'll start off with Gara. Um, so I won these on Toreba. Uh, they came um, in like the same core game, which is kind of... Um, I don't really like that. I like singular ones. But let's have a look at the little box. So we've got the Vibration Stars. Kind of similar artwork to all the rest of them. Uh, you can see they come in uh, in the pair A and B. That's how you win them. Uh, look at the face. Uh, it looks like a really nice um, sculpture. It's good pose and stuff as well. Um, can't wait for the Itachi one though, but um, not sure when that's coming out. Uh, so let's have a little look. It's my knife. Cut the box. Um, so I've got all of the Vibration Star set for now. So it comes in the box like that. Uh, all... This one smells like mothballs a little bit. Um... Yeah, right. So this one's quite a big looking figure. Uh, comes in a fair few different pieces. Um, which you've got to put together. So we'll start with the bottom. Or the first one, which is the bottom. So we have the lower. Cats are obsessed with box. Um, we've got the lower torso part of Gara uh, with the cape. It's got the peg system again. And it's got little pegs again. And. Ah, okay. So they've changed. Oh no, these ones are the same. I was thinking of the Grindista ones. So they've got pegs on the bottom that you can stick into um, for the base. Uh, pretty nice paint job. The plastic's pretty soft, so uh, that's alright. Um, next we'll go with the top part of the torso. Again, his skin's very, very yellow again. Um, I don't know what's up with that. It probably doesn't translate that well on camera but it is quite yellow um so hair's well done uh sculpting's really nicely done and the painting eyes are symmetrical so you can have a little look at the face probably looks more like gara than what sasuke looks like sasuke uh and then we've got the back so the gourd goes in here um so we can stick these on together. Ooh, these ones go in nice and easy too. The Sasuke one is really hard to put together because of his belt, it sort of gets in the way. Um, so we've got a little look at the figure right now. That. Right, let's put the gourd on. So it's pretty cool that they've got uh, like accessories for him because obviously he needs the gourd but uh, it's got the sand coming out um, you can see that it was sculpted <laughs> as a sculptor uh, so that's what we have a little look at the gourd uh, it's quite a heavy figure this one um, so hopefully they won't fall down like the rest of them do um, so it's got a little peg thing on here and it goes into here so just like that torso comes off of course um there we go so that's what he looks like uh with the gourd on uh now we can put the stand on and then i can show you uh what it looks like after that <laughs> little peg thing uh, 
Alright, so then we've got the base here, uh, and then we've got the peg, and that goes in there. And then it goes up his butt somehow. Right. So let's just stick him in here first. Maybe it goes the other way. It's not fitting in all that well. And the torso came off. Bear with me for a second. what we have so that's the figure put on the base uh, I like I really like the pose of it it's um all the other ones I mean the vibration stars ones are like action poses anyway so Naruto's up in the air and uh, so is Sasuke with the Chidori uh, where the Gara is standing with his gourd um, uh, in a pose which is uh, really good because the Grindista ones are them just sort of standing there uh, and the vibration stars are the action ones um, and they're a lot more solid as well because they come with this big base um, just obviously to support the pose that they're in um, and yeah really good sculpting really good paintwork uh, there's always good quality from Bam Presto I'm always impressed with it especially for the price tag because they're a lot cheaper uh, than like the gem figures or anything so uh, yeah that's what we have pretty good little figure uh, I think they're still on Torebo if you want to try and win one if not um, they're over on, you know, wherever you can find them. I usually try and find things on Mandarake. They come up quite often. Especially when they're new. They usually float around there for a pretty decent price. Um, and they'll be new because they're a new release. Uh, so have a look on Mandarake if you're wanting to purchase one of these. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I will also open up my Naruto one with Sage Mode and um, compare them with the other... Naruto one, that's not Sage Mode, that's exactly the same. Um, but yeah, so that's Gara, pretty good little figure, and uh, yeah, can't wait for the Itachi one. Anyway, um, thanks to my patrons for supporting me, uh, I can do videos like this as well. So if you want to uh, support me on Patreon, um, I have the link down in the description. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat, um, I shop at CreaturesofNat.com. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.